The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been hugely criticised for filming video diaries and giving interviews while Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II were in ill health. The first three episodes of Netflix's Harry and Meghan include sit-down chats between the two royals and their documentary interviewers as well as their thoughts recorded on camera. The first video diary included in the program, which debuted on December 8, saw Prince Harry expressing his emotions after completing his final stint of public engagements before officially stepping down as a senior royal at the end of March 2020. Filming for the documentary reportedly continued until August 2022, just weeks before the death of Elizabeth II. Royal insiders were left reeling by the discovery the filming of a docu-series, which includes jabs at the royal family as well as criticism of the Commonwealth, was filmed during deeply difficult months for the Duke of Edinburgh and the late Queen. One source told the Daily Mail. This was all being filmed while both the Duke of Edinburgh and the Queen, Harry's grandparents, were suffering from serious ill health and in the last few months of their lives. They even came over to mark Her Majesty's Jubilee while colluding with the filmmakers, without telling her what they were doing. That's shameful and cowardly. There are a lot of people who are glad the late Queen is not here to see it. The Commonwealth, to which Her Late Majesty dedicated her life and includes also nations who were never part of the British Empire, was described as Empire 2.0 by writer and journalist Hafua Hirsch, one of the experts taking part in the programme. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were made by Elizabeth II in 2019 the President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, an organisation supporting and championing the projects of youth advocates throughout the 56-strong association. In the spring of 2020, shortly after they relinquished their senior roles in the firm, they held a video call with members of the Trust in which they said the Commonwealth's history must be acknowledged to move forward in the future. During the first three episodes of Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess mostly took their aim at the press. However, they also included jabs at the firm, with Harry saying there is a huge level of unconscious bias his family, adding sometimes, you know. You're part of the problem rather than part of the solution. He also recalled members of his family telling him their wives had to put up with media scrutiny and paparazzi and asking him, when he pressured for Meghan to be given protection before their marriage, why should your girlfriend be treated any differently? After recalling her shock at being told she had to curtsy at the late Queen before their first ever meeting, Meghan can be seen performing an exaggerated curtsy from the couch she was sharing with Harry for an interview. She added, jokingly, Pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. The documentary also featured never-before-seen pictures of the couple, including footage and snaps from the night the Duke proposed to Meghan. The pair also shared photos of their children, including when they were just days old, 